Hi everybody, thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Miss Jen and welcome to Kids Quest Children's Museum's Storytime. Kids Quest Children's Museum! Love of learning starts here. Today we are going to get moving and grooving and sing a couple songs and then read about my favorite thing, dinosaurs. Yes, it's gonna be very exciting. So first, we are going to sing a song to get moving. We are going to sing, If You're Happy and You Know It. Do you know that song? Perfect, let's put our hands up. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle our fingers like this. Nice job. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Nice job, everybody. We are going to get started today with one of my favorite stories, Rex wrecks it. What does this look like to you? A T-Rex dinosaur? Let's find out, let's see. Rex wrecks it. Meet Gizmo, Sprinkles, and Wild. They like to build things. And this is Rex. He wrecks everything. Oh man. Gizmo's out of this world rocket. <gasps> Rex wrecks it. Oh man. Sprinkles magical heart. Beautiful. What do you think is going to happen? Oh, Rex wrecks it. Wild wooden wonder of Wowdom. Wow, he is stacking very tall. He's working very hard. Yep. Rex wrecks it. Hmm, that's sad. How do you feel when other people wreck what you built? Yeah, not very good. But Gizmo, Sprinkles, and Wild have a plan. They're going to work together to build the biggest, strongest, most awesome Rithic block castle ever. It will be so big, so strong, so awesome Rithic that not even Rex will be able to wreck it, hopefully. Look, they're drawing out a plan. Looks like they have lots of ideas. Phew, we are almost done. It's big, it's strong, it's awesome Rithic. Wow, that is impressive. That's a big castle. But Rex wrecks it anyways. Oh, man. Oh, they don't look very happy, do they? Everyone is upset. You broke my glasses. You wreck everything. Blockhead. Oh, that's not very nice. Now they're calling names. They're so sad. Even Rex is upset. But that brainy bot gizmo has an idea. Let's build something even bigger, even stronger, an even more awesome rific with Rex's help. Well, that's a good idea. Maybe that will work. So they all help build something new. And it turns out Rex is a big help. He doesn't wreck anything. Not even a little. Well, they're working together. It looks fantastic. Everyone is happy. Even Rex. Mostly. He looks a little bit upset, doesn't he? What do you think he wants to do? There's just one more thing to do to make it even better. What 
do? What's gonna happen? They wreck it all together. Look, they all look really happy to be wrecking it together. The end. Nice job, everybody. I love this story. I think it is so great that they all work together at the end. So before we move on to our next story, we are going to sing a song about dinosaurs. <gasps> Can you put up five fingers for me? One whole hand. We have one, two, three, four, five fingers. We're gonna put up all five of our fingers and here we go. I will sing it one time and then you will be able to help me do the other four. You ready? Five little plants were growing in the ground, waving in the wind till a dino came around. <gasps> chomp, chomp, chomp with one big bite. Now only <gasps> four were left in sight. We put down one, our dino ate one of our leaves, and now we have one, two, three, four left. Here we go. Four little plants were growing in the round, waving in the wind till the dino came around. Chomp, chomp, chomp with one big bite. Now three plants were left in sight. You show me one, two, three. We have three left. Here we go, ready? Three little plants were growing in the ground, waving in the wind till a dino came around. <gasps> chomp, chomp, chomp with one big bite. <gasps> How many do we have left? One, two. Now only two plants were left in sight. <gasps> oh my goodness, can you make sure you're showing me two fingers? One, two. Let's do it again, are you ready? <gasps> Two little plants were growing in the ground, <gasps> waving in the wind till a dino came around. <gasps> chomp, chomp, chomp with one big bite. <gasps> oh no, we lost one, how many are left? Now only one plant is left in sight. <gasps> oh no, those dinosaurs keep eating our plants. Let's try one more, are you ready? Show me one finger. One little plant was growing in the ground, waving in the wind till a dino came around. Chomp, chomp, chomp with one big bite. Oh no, how many plants are left? None. There are no plants left in sight. Oh, that dinosaur ate all of our plants. Man, nice job, you guys. The next book we're going to read is called If the Dinosaurs Came Back. Can you imagine if you looked out your window and there was a dinosaur? Oh my goodness. Let's read what happens. If the Dinosaurs Came Back. I like dinosaurs think about them all the time. I read about them. I talk about them. Oh, how I wish the dinosaurs would come back. If the dinosaurs came back, they could carry my daddy to work and back. Can you imagine if your grown-up went to work on a dinosaur? If the dinosaurs came back, we wouldn't need any more lawn mowers. If the dinosaurs came back, house painters wouldn't need any more ladders. If the dinosaurs came back, they would scare away the robbers. If the dinosaurs came back, they would make it easy for farmers to plow their fields. If the dinosaurs came back, they could help lumberjacks chop down trees. If the dinosaurs came back, they could help firefighters put out the fires. 
if the dinosaurs came back, they could help build big skyscrapers. If the dinosaurs came back, they would make great ski slopes. If the dinosaurs came back, they could take swimmers on rides at the beach. If the dinosaurs came back, they could rescue kites that were stuck in very tall trees. And if the dinosaurs came back, mountain climbers would have new mountains to climb. If the dinosaurs came back, they could be a big help at the circus. If the dinosaurs came back, they could help librarians get books from the top shelf. If the dinosaurs came back, dentists would have plenty of teeth to work on. That is very true. If the dinosaurs came back, giraffes would have someone to look up to. If the dinosaurs came back, they could push away rain clouds so the sun would always shine. But best of all, if the dinosaurs came back, they would make great pets for people who love dinosaurs. The end. Wow, it sounds like they really could think of a lot of good things that would happen if the dinosaurs came back, huh? Could you imagine looking outside and seeing a dinosaur outside of your bedroom? Oh my goodness, that would be, that would be a little bit scary. Alrighty friends, we are going to sing one more song and it is called The Dinosaur Hokey Pokey. Do you know the Hokey Pokey? It's a very fun dance. We're going to stand up for this one. What are some things that dinosaurs have? I think hmm, they have claws and they have big feet and oh, they have tails, don't they? So when we sing this song, we are going to pretend we are dinosaurs and we're going to get moving and grooving. Are you ready? Can you show me your dinosaur claws? Oh my goodness, who has dinosaur claws? Just like this. Nice job. We are going to sing our dino hokey pokey and get a little bit of our wiggles out. You put your claw in, you put your claw out, you put your claw in and you shake it all about. We do the dino pokey and we turn ourselves around. That's what it's all about. Nice job. Should we try our big dinosaur feet next? Can you show me your big dinosaur stomping? Oh my goodness, are you ready? We put our feet in, we put our feet out, we put our feet in and we shake it all about. We do the dino pokey and we turn ourselves around. That's what it's all about. What was the last dinosaur part I said earlier? Our tail. Do you have a dinosaur tail? Oh my goodness, can you wiggle wiggle your dinosaur tail? <laughs> nice job. You put your tail in, you put your tail out, you put your tail in and you shake it all about. We do the dino pokey and we turn ourselves around. That's what it's all about. Oh, you guys did a great job. That is a tiring dance. Let's sit back down and read one more story before we go. This story is called Dinosaur Rumpus. And it looks like these dinosaurs are also moving and grooving just like we just were. Let's see what happens. There's a quake and a quiver and a rumbling around. It makes you shiver. It's a thundery sound. Shake, shake, shudder near the sludgy old swamp. The dinosaurs are coming. Get ready to romp. Triceratops jumping up and down doing dinosaur hops. 
He wears three horns on his big bony head and blunders along with a bump bump tread. Shake, shake, shudder near the sludgy old swamp. The dinosaurs are coming. Get ready to romp. Watch out for Dinosuchus with her snip snap grin as she perches on her tail and twists in a spin. Apatosaurus stops for a slushy mushy snack. His tail starts swinging with a thwack, thwack, thwack. Shake, shake, shudder near the sludgy old swamp. The dinosaurs are coming. Get ready to romp. My goodness, it looks like they're having a big, oops, a big dinosaur dance. Oh my goodness. Shake, shake, shudder near the sludgy old swamp. Everybody's doing the dinosaur romp. Wow, it looks like all our dinosaurs are dancing together. <gasps> roar! Roar, roar, roar! What's making that sound? The dinosaurs stop. There's silence around. Roar, roar, roar! We're shivering with fright. What can make a noise like that in the night? <gasps> can I hear your best dinosaur roar? <gasps> Roar so loud. Tyrannosaurus crashes in, gnashing his jaws. Wallop on the ground, though his big back claws. He's huge, he's heavy, but all he wants to do is join in the romp. So why don't you? Shake, shake, shudder near the sludgy old swamp. Everybody's doing the dinosaur romp. Get romping with T-Rex and stomp, stomp, stomp. Wave your arms madly, make your feet go bump. The dinosaurs won't scratch us or bite us or thump us. They just want to holler up a dinosaur rumpus. Shake, shake, shudder near the sludgy old swamp. Everybody's doing the dinosaur romp. A dinosaur rumpus gives a sizzle and a zing. It makes you wanna shout, jump, jiggle, and sing. Shake, shake, shudder near the sludgy old swamp. Everybody's doing the dinosaur romp. But soon all the rompers grow sleepy and slow. The rumps calm down and the sound drops low. The rompers drift together and tumble in a heap. I wonder what's gonna happen. <gasps> Until all the dinosaurs are all fast asleep. And now the only noise in the deep of the night is <gasps> dinosaurs snoring till the next day's light. Oh, they're so sleepy. The end. Oh, that was such a silly story. I loved all the, dan the dancing dinosaurs. <gasps> Alrighty, everybody, before we go, we are going to sing one more song as our closing song. We're going to sing <gasps> head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Can you stand up with me? <gasps> Do you know this song? I bet a lot of you know this song. We are going to take our hands and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Perfect, it goes like this. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes, and ears, and mouth, and a nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Nice job, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me for story time today. I hope to see you next time. Thank you. Bye. Kitty Quest Children's Museum. Love of learning starts here.